your mind. Once more! Onto the breach, dear friends, once more! Or close the wall up with our English dead! In peace, there is nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger! Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise fair nature with hard-favored rage, and lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head like the brass cannon. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold out the breath and bend up every spirit to his full height. On, on! You noblest English, whose blood is fed from fathers of war-proof. Fathers are like so many Alexanders, have in these parts from morn till even fought and sheathed their swords for lack of argument. Dishonor not your mothers! Now attest that those of you called fathers did beget you. Be copy now to men of grosser blood and teach them how to war. And you, good yeoman, whose limbs were made in England, show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not. <laughs> For well, there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble luster in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start. The game is afoot. Follow your spirit, and upon this charge, cry, God for Harry! God for Harry! England! England! And St. John!